RCA Victor. Do not try to adjust the picture. A new form of television is here. 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 Hey, what's up? You Whoa, I'm not focused. There we go. What's up? Today's topic is going to be school. A place where I spent most of my life unfocused. And I wasn't exactly what you would call popular. Actually, I was usually called fat, stupid, unattractive, creepy, serial killer-ish. Okay, mom, you need to stop interrupting my videos. Hey, chillax, homegirl, okay? I'm just here to remind you and your audience that I am single and ready to mingle. I like long, stumbling midnight walks from the bar to my car. I like laying in the bathtub listening to jazz music while we explore each other's bodies like two archaeologists looking for bones. Maybe we could even find a T-Rex. Get out! Cock block! Anyways, school was tough. I would usually end up wearing my lunch more than I would eat it. Hey Shane, you know what you should do? Run for class president. But I would never win. Everybody hates me. That's not pro. Oh, really? Hey Mark! At least it was just one. At least they didn't throw poop. I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah, I had poop for lunch on many occasions. Sometimes I attribute my weirdness to all the TV shows I used to watch. Maybe they would have taught me more life lessons if they had a different host. <laughs> Welcome to all my little girls and little boys and little whatever the fuck you supposed to be. My name is Mrs. Shanene and I'm gonna teach y'all a little something about life. <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't get too excited. I mean, life can be rough. Life can be like a big, nasty, fat prison inmate fucking you from behind with no warning and definitely no lube. But today I'm gonna teach you some things that hopefully make your life a little less of a OH SHIT! And a little bit more of a OOH SHIT! Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> Lesson number one. Stupid people get their ass shot. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess who was born with hair so long it reached the floor. Okay, now that's a load of bullshit. Alright, you cannot have hair that long and be natural. You gotta buy that shit. Either that or you gotta go to India and scalp a bitch. Anyways, she fell in love with a poor jobless slave that lived nearby. What? Oh, hell no. Okay, I am sorry, but if you want to get between these hips, you better be packing between your wallet lips, homie. I cannot be with no broke-ass motherfucker. I mean, what if he rips his condom on my piercing and he knocks me the fuck up? I can't afford to have a baby by myself, and I definitely can't have another miscarriage because I've already had 19 of them this month. I mean, if I shove any more coat hangers up there, I'm gonna look like JCPenney's on Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? And they all lived broke as a damn joke and unhappily ever after. The end. Today I want to give y'all some life lessons. Like why you should never fuck a Samoan. Why aliens abduct little children in the middle of the night to do testing. And why even though gay men can be fun, fashionable, and cute, the sex they be having is pretty disgusting. I mean, I don't get it. That shit feels like you pooping backwards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like you do. Oh, and let's not forget about the N-word and how much fun it is to say. Let's everybody say it. Nick Caught! What? I thought it was going good. We was about to play with knives. Yeah, maybe not. Either way, I would spend a lot more time in the guidance counselor's office than I would in the actual classroom. And she wasn't the best at listening to my problems. But hey, at least it wasn't like Paris Hilton or something. Can you imagine? So, tell me and Tinkerbell your problems. My parents said if I don't get straight A's, they're gonna disown me. My parents said if I got straight A's, they would buy me Africa and kick out all the black people so I could use it as my own personal tanning bed. I just feel like nobody ever listens to me. Damn it, Tinkerbell, you won again, you little bitch. <laughs> what were you saying? I don't know 
what's wrong with me. It's like every time I look in a mirror, I think I'm fat. Think. What do you see when you look at this? A butterfly? That's correct. What about this? Kim Kardashian? I'm sorry. The answer is fat whore. And the worst is that I'm addicted to watching porn. Have you watched mine? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, it was okay, I guess. Get the fuck out. Yeah, could have been worse. Either way, I made it through school and came out normal. Ha! Shut up, Mom! So, here is my question for you. What is your best and or worst school experience? Leave all your comments and video responses in my crotch. Ooh, also speaking of school, Take 180, the company that's helping me fund my pilot, I work with them on a bunch of really cool videos and one of them is up right now. It's called Grease Twilightnin'. I may or may not play a crazy Twilight fangirl. It's up right now, go check them out and support them because hey, they're supporting us. Without them, the pilot would be It would actually be more than It would be Exactly. All right, you guys, I'm going to go have a good weekend, and I'll see you next Saturday. I'm going to go finish up season one of Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. See you guys later.